Hey guys, what's up? It's Aaron. Back today for a video about my Pioneer head unit in my car. So this is the FH-X700BT Double Din Pioneer head unit. So I'm just going to run through the functions of it, what it does, show you off some of the cool features, and it should hopefully be pretty quick. So starting off, my phone is connected to Bluetooth. This radio does have Bluetooth. So what you do is you hit this phone button here, and I just actually shut it off, it was already on there. So that'll give you the phone menu, so you can scroll through dialed, receive, phone book, and your presets. You can have six presets right here, one through six. Uh, so that's the phone, you can call right from there. You can only call when it's on Bluetooth though, which is which kind of sucks. So if you go back, hit this little back arrow down here, uh, you hit the center button. You can only hit it when it's actually on. So we'll go to tuner, which is the radio. So I'll turn that down. Um, so you can actually hit the center button. That brings up the menu. This phone's shaking all over the place. I'm sorry. Bring up the menu so you get your audio functions. Click that. You have bass boost, HPF settings, your fader, your balance. That's left and right, forward and back. And then you have your EQ settings. It has um, a bunch of settings that are preset. Uh, you can do custom ones, I don't know, I have no idea how to do that. But I guess I just had mine on powerful, so I don't know what that means. So you have your EQ settings, loudness, uh, your subwoofer, I don't have any subs, and then you're back to bass boost. So that's the audio section. So then you go to illumination, which is my favorite. So you get the key color, which is all this stuff, and then you get the display color, which is this, this other section here, which will do these buttons and this screen. So key color, you select that, you have a bunch of presets, these are all your colors, It's the phone's not picking it up too well, but they're very vivid colors, uh, you can check online. Um, so I had mine set to, um, right here, custom orange, which matches the dashboard perfectly. So to do the custom, you hold in the center, and then you scroll what how much red green and blue you want in each each system and you can do that for the display color as well so that has the same exact set colors um, but only for the display so this is the 700 BT like I said um, the newer model the 720 is out uh, my girlfriend has that um, version and that has fewer uh, preset colors, but it still can do all the custom colors, I think. So that's that. So go back into the menu. Um, so after illumination is system. So you go to that, you get your clock. So you want your 12 hour or 24 hour clock. Your info display, so that, that comes up underneath. Um, no, that tells you what is going on here. So it can you can make it choose a level meter, which just goes up and down all the time. Or... Um, what source it's on so it says it down there or you can just have a clock there permanently in case you don't have a clock up here or you can have nothing or the spina sp yeah spin I don't know how to pronounce that word but that's no I always use level meter so that's that and then you have your auxiliary on or off Bluetooth audio on or off you can clear the Bluetooth memory and then you have your Bluetooth version and the last one is mix tracks. No, there's two more. Mix tracks, which I have absolutely no idea how to use. So if you're into that kind of thing, that's for you. And function, which is, um, I never use function. So you have your band here, which when you're on the radio, you can choose FM 1, 2, or 3. There's three of them, or AM. So you can have a total of... 18, 6 times 3, 18 radio presets on FM 1, 2, and 3, and then your AM, which is pretty cool. And then you have source. So you have auxiliary, which I've never used before. You have this little jack down here. Then you have Bluetooth, which um, you do everything from your phone, but you just don't have a, a wire connecting it. Then you have USB slash iPod, which you just plug in your phone, and then you can cycle through songs using left or right, or use this search. 
and search for like an album or an artist or a song, which I don't suggest doing because um, you're driving and you shouldn't be doing that. And then you have Pandora, which is really cool. So you plug in your phone and then you can't choose any Pandora stations on your phone. You can only choose it through here. So you hit the search button and then you scroll through and that chooses what um, that chooses what station you want to listen to, which is really neat. Uh, you can use these to skip and the one and two to thumbs up, thumbs down, which is really neat in Pandora. Um, and then you can also use Siri if you have Siri when you're on, uh, I think it's just when you're on USB slash iPod. So you hold in the center button and that'll get you Siri, which if you have a microphone attached, you can't see at all. Well, there's a microphone right here on my dash, uh, which... You, it will pick up what you say and then you can use Siri for that. So there is the USB flash drive here. Um, I think it only works for like USB stuff. And then there is a CD drive up here which I've never ever actually used. So that's really neat. Uh, and that about does it, I think, for this radio. So it's a really neat radio. It costs you about, I think, $250. That might be including installation. And I got it at Best Buy. So. You can probably get it for cheaper since it's not the newest model anymore. But besides that, this is a fantastic head unit. I wanted the double size, the double DIN one, so it took up the whole thing and not just the single. And then I'd have a little storage here because the Celica has enough storage up in here. You can't see that up above. And then in the cup holders in the uh, center stack. So it's got enough storage, so I didn't need the, the single DIN. So the double DIN works perfectly for me. I absolutely love this radio. use it all the time. And the color matching is really really neat with the dashboard it's it's a very vivid orange and the whole car has got like an orange theme going on which i really like so that's about it for this radio try to keep that short i guess it really wasn't that short but people ask me about it on the channel so i went for it so that's this radio hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like share comment and if you like this please subscribe to my channel and with that i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching i'm out of here